G'day everyone, Gareth here from Organic Growing Melbourne. I'm going to do another video on a, on a dedicated plant today. And um, this is the, Resili the Relinia, which is the Brazilian custard apple. Um, this tree has really surprised me because it's it's quite frost sensitive. Um, I've been I've had it I've had it in here, which is just this tiny little crappy greenhouse from Bunnings. I wouldn't recommend buying one. They the weather gets to them and they start spreading. But I've got a little bar heater here. Now it keeps the plants about three degrees warmer than the plants that are outside. Um, so not much. So when we do get those really cold nights, these really sensitive plants um, just have a little bit better chance um, in their first in their first year or so. Um, but let's have a look at this custard apple here, the Relinia. What really surprises me is the amount of growth I've had. So all this bottom branch here is all new growth. Um, uh, this particular plant is a seedling, but we've had new growth here, we've got some new growth in here. You can see all these, all that there is new growth, and then here, we've got some new growth top here, this big leaf here, and these new ones, all this, and then up the top, you can see new growth here. Those two big leaves, the little ones there, and then in there, and in there. So I'm really, really happy with the way this Relinia is, is taken off. And you've got all these new little side branches that are, are coming off here. There's heaps of them. I have just pruned a dead branch off here, and there was another one here. Um, I'm not too sure you can see how this is this is dying here as well. We had this new growth, but it shot out another one underneath it. I'm really, really happy with with the Relinia. This is one that I thought I'd really struggle with down here. In fact, I have two sour sop here and they've been inside this little greenhouse as well. And So I think this um, this Relinia is probably going to be in a pot for a few years uh, before I can put it in the ground, uh, give my garden a bit of a bit, bit of time to establish and create sort of a microclimate for it. It's going to need some protection from the frost. Um, oh, hey, get out! Sorry, look at this. Sort of the chickens. That is a red back. The chicken was about to eat it. It's a big one too. I'm gonna kill this one. Well, save the chicken's life. I get a lot of red backs in the garden here and they can be massive. So sorry about that. <laughs> we'll continue on with this. Yeah, so I need a big canopy for this one. Um, and again, down the bottom, I'm gonna, there's going to be a few avocados growing down the bottom. So it will probably be grown underneath an avocado. This is going to grow a lot slower than the avocado. But I think that's what I'll do, is grow it in amongst the avocados, along with a lot of the other sensitive plants I've got. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a video. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, don't forget this Relinia is growing in Melbourne here. So we're in a cold, cold part of the year at the moment. It's just uh, the end of winter actually. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd let you know how my Relinia is going. I hope you enjoyed watching. Take care and see you next time. Bye.